Hi, I'm Andrew Edelson. We're here at the NVIDIA booth at GDC 2014. And I'm going to go do a quick run over about uh, the new Tegra K1 processor. So this is the latest generation of the Tegra processor. We announced it at CES this year. And the great thing about uh, the K1 and the reason it's called K1 is it brings the Kepler GPU architecture to mobile for the first time. So the Tegra 4 had uh, a quad-core A15, and we've kept that in the K1, but the, as I mentioned, the GPUs had a complete overhaul, and it's now using the same GPU architecture that we find on the desktop. So that allows a whole bunch of wonderful things. Uh, from uh, uh, NVIDIA's point of view, we can now have the same engineers and software architects working together, both on the desktop and on the mobile side. Uh, they can be using the same code base, they can be writing the same code, using the same features, and um, as we go through the booth, you'll see some of the technologies that uh, we've been able to put on you know, Windows, Linux, and now on Android as well. So uh, the K1 itself with Kepler, uh, some of the things we're showing at this particular spot, uh, we're showing a, a great game called Trine 2 by our partners Frozen Byte. Uh, that's using our full OpenGL uh, capabilities of, of Tegra, and it's a beautiful game. They've got lots of dynamic lighting, uh, full real-time shadows. Uh, also, they're using PhysX for a lot of puzzles and things, uh, really you know, showing the capabilities of what the chip can do. Uh, we're also working with uh, Unreal, and they had a massive announcement here for their Unreal Engine 4. And again, we've been able to, on K1, run the full rendering pipeline. Uh, so they're using a very advanced renderer, uses multiple render targets, they use uh, compute shaders, so they can do a lot of advanced things, like actually simulate uh, the pupil dilation from when you go from a bright environment to a, a dark environment. They actually change the luminance of the scene to actually simulate that. And that's done uh, because they can use the full Kepler uh, feature set. Uh, some of the other great things it lets us do now is combine our tools, uh, but the combination of this advanced uh, GPU architecture being put into a mobile package is really exciting, both for us and for our developer partners.